Hello everyone, here listening Dr. Vin Kumar and today I am going to tell you about the precision agriculture. So first of all I will start the revolution or wave in the agriculture or we can say that uh, modification in agriculture. We can see here in 19 to 1930 this was the first wave of the revolution in agriculture and that happened when the mechanization entered in agriculture. At the time a single or uh, each farmer could be able to produce enough food that can feed 26 people and after that second wave of green revolution was in the terms of green revolution and this happened because of the introduction of the new methods of genetic modification and through this the farmers can produce enough food that can feed about 155 people so third wave of revolution we were we are expecting because of uh, through the modern agriculture revolution and we are hoping that precision agriculture is the key component in third revolution if you see here the world population in 2050 would be about 9.6 billion it means that we are going to invite 2.6 or 3 billion people at this planet as a guest so it is our responsibility to feed them so how it would be possible it would be possible if we adopt the modern agriculture revolution and if we adopt the precision agriculture or new technology so in this way we can produce food that can feed about 265 people on the same acreage so we can see here because of the revolution different revolution how we are increasing our ability to feed the people in the first wave we were having only 26 in second wave we we, we were having 155 and now we we are planning to 265 people to feed so if you see the concept of the precision agriculture first time it emerged or evolved in united states in 1980 and toward the end of 1980 this technique was mainly used to derive the first input recommendation especially for the fertilizer and pH correction and if you see the precursor those are the different nations though first adopt the precision agriculture are like that United States Canada and Australia so now I'm going to define the what is the precision agriculture precision agriculture is technology and information based for management system Technology here it here it will be technology as well as the information and sometimes it is also called satellite farming or site specific crop management is a farming management concept based on observing measuring and responding I have already told that this is the combination of technology and information so what information we are have we, we will have uh, in the terms of database we will observe the field then measure and then respond according to that in what variability are existing inter as well as the intra field and the goal if you see here the, the goal of precision agriculture research is to define a decision support system for the whole farm management with the goal of optimizing returns on input while preserving the resources the main component the main objective of this precision agriculture is to synchronize the demand and supply we will apply only those input in a in a right manner of the quantity what is actually needed in the field so in this way we will maximize the efficiency of input simultaneously we will not harm the resources so in this way we will conserve the resources also and if you see the present farming cycle here suppose this is the here we are adopting the farming so from here we will collect the data of here soil map we will make the crop condition map soil condition map as well as the yield map so this data will be collected and it will be as a database after that analysis it will go as a decision management system and accordingly the this information will go through the GPS and uh, GIS to the instrument and this instrument will perform according to the field condition what is actually the need of the crop suppose the nitrogen deficiency are existing in this in this field so it is it may be not 
that whole field will have a same type of the deficiency or demand suppose this corner will have the high demand this corner will have some more less demand and suppose this corner will have some less demand so this information will be sensed by the some sensor of the condition of the crop and that will give to the this sprayer or this fertilizer machine that this is the actual the condition of the field so this machine will apply this fertilizer according to the demand where the deficiency will be more in that place the fertilizer will apply more where the deficiency will be less according to that it will adjust the fertilizer application so this is the actually the concept of the precision farming so in this we will maximize the maximize the efficiency of input in the terms of either fertilizer or pesticide or water and if you see the component of uh, precision agriculture precision agriculture will have the component like the technology on agriculture equipment like tractor sprayer harvesting harvesters and position system it will have gps that will receive the signal from the satellite and it will determine the actual position on the globe and geogra geographic information system it will be as a database or uh, data database software that will make a sense the a sense of all the available data what i have already told that we will make a grid system and we will collect the data and it will we will compile this in the system so it will have all the data of the what is actually existing in the field so that will make a sense of what is actual is the need in the field according to that the variable rate farming equipment will be there that data will be sensed by this variable rate farming equipment and after that that will be performed so these are the actually the key component of uh, key component of the precision for uh, precision farming or precision agriculture and uh, success how precision agriculture will be success because of this five r principle it will apply the right input in the right manner a right amount at a right place at a right time and in a right manner so if the, these five principle will be exist on a field then definitely the input will be give more response to the crop and that will produce more and more yield and that will be definitely economical to the farmer and how it will be benefit precision agriculture aim to optimize the field level management with regards to crop science especially by matching the farming practices more closely to the crop need i have already explained that we are in precision agriculture we are going to synchronize the demand and supply we will closely understand the what is the actual need of the crop does it is a deficiency of nitrogen does it is a uh, deficiency of uh, a phosphorus or which type of the insect pest are attacked here so after the after the close observation we will know that what is the actual need of the crop so according to that we will apply the input and it will protect the environment by reducing the environmental risk and footprint of the farming like i am giving example here limiting the leaching of nitrogen suppose we are in the area where we are practicing the cereals crop so in the cereal in general what we do we apply maximum nitrogen for the high crop more than 120 kg so a maximum amount of the this nitrogen go in the form of the leaching and that will go and harm the our ground water in this way it will harm the environment as well as it will go uh, as a runoff into the ponds where that will make a eutrophication and that that will interfere the ecosystem of a uh, pond and it will be economic by boosting competitiveness through the more efficient practices improve the management of the fertilizer uses and other input just if suppose someone is adopting the precision agriculture and someone is not adopting the precision agriculture definitely those who adopt the precision agriculture will be having more benefit because of by applying this less amount of the input he will get more return but those farmer who will not apply, adopt the precision agriculture he will apply more and more input and will get the same level of the output so the um, benefit and cost ratio will be more in the case of the precision agriculture so he can compete in the market so in this way it will be economical to the farmer 
and these were all about the precision agriculture and what are the component i hope you understand a little bit about the precision agriculture so regarding like this video you can subscribe here and for more related agriculture you can follow me on my facebook page as well as the tutor and i will request you please go and make on of your notification so you will get notification whenever i will upload any new video like this thank you for watching my video